couple things that we're going to do here today, two different uh, recipes. Uh, one of my favorite ingredients, I don't know if you know it, but I'm a mango nut. Just crazy about mangoes. Right now, I've got three different varieties of mangoes here in front of me. Okay, um, this is a, a, a kit mango. This is a, a late season mango. The color does not have to do with the ripeness. This is a very ripe mango. This is a, a Tommy Atkins variety. This is one of the most commercial, accepted, and grown varieties in the world right now uh, with that. And then this uh, our champagne mango, which is a uh, Malaysian style mango, which in, comes in from Mexico uh, with that, was actually called an Alto Ufo. Let me start off with a, just a, a mango and kind of take a look inside, because you have a green mango here, a green skinned mango, although when you cut it open, guess what? Nice, sweet, ripe mango. But here the, the Alto Ufo, great yellow skin, okay, way different. What I did is turn it on its side, cut the first half, turn it around and cut through for, towards the center, okay, leaving the, the center for a, a few moments. So what I'm going to do with this is just with a point of a paring knife, cut through. Okay, and we can do this very fine and, or not, and then just pop it open. And it looks pretty like that. That's always a good thing. All right, and then if you want to take it and dice it, you can just cut through like that. You can remove it the, the same way uh, as well if you like. We're going to leave that there for a moment uh, in that fashion. I'm going to take this, uh, this little Alto Ufo or champagne mango and cut a little bit smaller. The same type of thing. Okay, going to take that and just dig in, pull it out, and guess what? It's already diced, all set up for us in that sort of fashion. And I'm going to use that for a mixture in just a few minutes, which is this, this dish is going to be a coconut crab salad that we're going to make on, on the first one. So to dig into our coconut crab salad, obviously it's going to have coconut in it somewhere along the way. Right, uh, but also we have the, the mango, and with the, the mango, actually, is gonna, I'm going to have two different styles of mango. That uh, one's going to be cut really thin on the, the mandolin, which we'll, we'll get to. But let me start to make the salad with uh, with the herbs. And with a with a salad, what I love to do is add fresh herbs because the aromas in a salad, aromas where you're not cooking it, you have to bring up some interest level. You have to bring in some depth to that. So by taking herbs, some mint, some cilantro, and some basil, and putting that together uh, really works very nicely. So for the salad, as, a, as I suggested, what we're going to do is start off with a little bit of a, a dressing here with coconut milk. So I've got a little bit of coconut milk, as well as some uh, lime juice. And so with the lime juice, Again, if you can take fresh lime for lime juice, always the best way to do this, okay? Um, and let's give this a little squeeze. Okay, real expensive technique here, squeezing limes. You don't need a big squeezer, you don't need a citrus machine. Put it in, and then the juice comes out, okay? So that's what you want to do. There are actually different types of limes available. And into this recipe, although I didn't put it in there, I'll, I'll add a, a little secret ingredient, only because most people can't get it. So one of the things that I did as a chef, I bought the tree so I can have them, is actually kaffir lime. I don't know if you're familiar with kaffir lime. This is the, the kaffir lime. It's a very unusual leaf. It's actually a double leaf, a double segment, as you can see. And with that, it really releases wonderful flavor and aromatic that we're going to, to have in that. So into our lime juice, I'm going to do a little bit of a uh, fish sauce. Fish sauce is an Asian sauce. Anyone familiar with a uh, fish sauce? It's a fermented Asian sauce. It can be made from squid or from anchovies. Um, real nice uh, flavors, but it's very pungent, very powerful. So you have to be careful with that. Going to add in a little bit of sugar into that for a sweetness. So we've got 
what do we have going on in this? A sweet and a sour. Okay, so we've got the sweet and the sour and the pungency of the fish sauce, which smells wonderful, also has a sort of bitter uh, component to it. And you'll find out that bitter is an important part of what you, you in cooking. Most people don't think like bitter is good. So here I'm going to add a little bit of heat to this also, a little crushed red pepper uh, to it, as well as a little salt and pepper. And I'm going to take a little bit of our kaffir lime. And with the kaffir lime leaf, just so you know, you, you have to either chop it up very fine or remove it. So what I actually do is take out the spine of the center of the kaffir lime, which is just the, the kind of vein of, the, of that. And just carefully cut that and bring that together. So really fine, fine. But you pass that around. Any, any comments on the herbs? Did you get it? Anyone not? It's okay. Not everyone's nose works, uh, works the same way. Not everyone's palate works the, the same way. And that's kind of, you know, the thing is that you, you learn what you're good at uh, and learn what you're, you're not good at. So, it's, you know, all depends. This is this kind of savory in, in that fashion. So we've got a nice little uh, vinaigrette that what I'm going to do is take a, some of that off to the side. Just I'm going to use that. So into, yeah. so into this, what I'm going to do is add in our coconut milk into the, some of that vinaigrette. Okay. And so then into that component, I'm going to add in some uh, scallions. Okay, so just a real nice, clean, really need a sharp knife when you're working. Not working a sharp knife, you're wasting time, you're hurting the food, you're hurting what you're doing, and it really takes, takes away uh, from flavor as well. It, it really does. So you're going to put in the scallions. Going to put also in our nice diced uh, mango into this mixture. And also some coconut, dried coconut. Okay, and mix that together. Okay, so from this point, now I'm going to take our crab meat. Usually the type of crab that we use is a blue crab. So they select out meat as they, they pick them, they pick meat. The largest pieces are called jumbo lump. So these are, these, this crab, generally when, when you pick through crab, what you need to do is make sure there's no other filament or crab shells in it. So what you want to do is not break it up, but kind of just feel softly. Uh, this is going to be broken up a little bit. So just taking the, the nice full segments. This we want to be able to, to see the, the pieces with. So I'm just feeling for the cartilage, okay? You need to go through cartilage, even though they've got great, great stuff. Not, uh, not, you know, getting the cartilage out. I don't make anything without going through the cartilage, no matter what quality of crab it is. Uh, you should always go through the cartilage. With our dressing, just kind of tossing it. Okay, and so we've got that going on. That I'm going to let be for a little bit. I'm going to take our herbs and I'm going to take a couple of those. Make sure that they're, they're clean. I'm going to put them into that little vinaigrette uh, thing that, that we've got here, the little bit of salad dressing mixture. Okay, some mint, some basil went in there, some fresh cilantro. So you smelt that already. You've got an idea of what that, that is. And again, what you want to do is not necessarily always chop, but sometimes picking herbs, picking the leaves uh, is really good. It's not only having the integrity. Not every recipe should have picked leaves. It should be chopped depending on what you're doing with the recipe. Here I want to see the herbs. I want to see the, the level and, and the depth of that. And so that's why I'm mixing that in in that sort of fashion. Okay, so 
with that, going to add a little bit of peanut oil into that, just a little seasoning on our herb, salt and pepper, and then going to mix that. So now we're getting ready to put this dish together. The last component that I want to do is uh, come over here and mandolin. You've worked with a mandolin yet? Yeah. Okay. Really, really, really sharp. It is. Thumb cuts, please be careful. Okay. Please be careful. It's something that you have to pay attention to. Don't look up and look away as you're doing the mandolin. It's just made to do that. It's made to be very sharp so you can get nice thin cuts out of it. Okay, so what we're doing here is getting nice slices of mango. And with this, what I'm going to do is take our little circles, which are molds, but at the same time, cutting out circle rings, okay? So I'm going to take a couple of those. And put this aside so we can make these molds and put this dish together. So first, first thing down here is going to be one slice of mango in each of these. Okay, then we're going to take some of that crab salad, coconut crab salad, coconut milk as well as the, the coconut in there. Going to use a little stamper to stamp it down. So don't just take the most convenient one. Make sure it's kind of clean. All right. And now I'm going to take a little bit of our mixed herbs. If you wanted a little bit of a quickie on this, you could actually chop these herbs and mix it in so that it would it would be mixed in as opposed to just being individually uh, layered. But here you sort of get a, a color layer and also more of a shock to the palate when you do come across the herbs as you're cutting through this. So that's kind of the idea of why I, I've created the herb layer in this one. Uh, but, you know, there's always adaptations to most recipes. Okay, and so that's kind of uh, what that's about uh, there. Um, we're going to put another layer of mango in there. Okay, and then a nice bit of crab meat. Packing it in. Actually, some of the juices run, and that's a good thing because that's kind of what we want to see on the plate. Then just going to top this off. In there, I'm going to take a little bit of a drizzle here of our vinaigrette on the plat on the plate, just a, a little bit. I'm going to take a couple of little pieces of mango and place it on the plate like that. Okay, may take a little bit of scallion to to go onto that as well. Not a whole lot, so you have some plate dimension and depth. Okay, make sure it's kind of solid and then you lift it up. Okay, it's really easy. This program is brought to you by Miami Culinary Institute at Miami Dade College. For more information about the schools and the culinarium program, please visit www.miamidadeculinary.com or call 305-237-3276.